Alright guys, I want to do a quick video here on arithmetic and geometric series and sequences, just so you can know the difference between these two. Um, it can be a little bit confusing, there's a few different formulas you have to know um, in order to use these, but uh, the biggest thing is that arithmetic sequence has a common difference, and that's D. So our equation to find our nth term is our first term, a sub 1, plus n minus 1, times that common difference, D. Okay, so in this one, let's see if we can figure out what that D is, the difference. Uh, if we take our second term minus our first term, 7 minus 3, of course, is 4. So the common difference here would be 4. All right, then you can plug it in and uh, find some other things that you want, uh, depending on which term, which n term you are looking for. Uh, in, the, in an arithmetic series, however, uh, this is the sum of those terms. So if we look at just the, the sequence 2, 4, 6, 8, but then I add those together, 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8, that's going to give me the, G, the excuse me, arithmetic series. Okay? Geometric is similar, but it has a ratio, a common ratio, uh, which means that I need to multiply something. Instead of adding, like over here I added 4 each time, over here I added 2, here I'm multiplying by something. So if I look at this one, from, to go from 3 to 6, of course I multiply by 2. And does that still work? 6 times 2 is 12, 12 times 2 is 24, and so on. So here, the common ratio for this one is 2. All right. Um, likewise, the series, again, we add those up. Now, you'll notice something with a geometric series. It could just be plus, 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 but it could also be alternating. Like in this one, it's minus, plus, minus, plus. And that's because if you look at how we find our common ratio, the second term divided by our first term, here if I take, um, and you can use this for any two consecutive terms, so what if I take two um, kind of more reasonable ones, negative eight divided by two, negative eight divided by a positive two is negative four, right? So R is negative four. That would also work here, negative one half divided by one eighth, positive one eighth is also negative four. I think it's just a little bit easier to see it with those two terms, All right? But anyway, my common ratio there is four. And then one thing I did mention, uh, we'll talk about this in a, in a different video, but the arithmetic series formula and the geometric series formulas, those can be a little bit tricky. So uh, we'll go over how to use those in a different video.